sitting at the kitchen with Chef Ricardo cooking today. All right, guys. Um, yeah. All right, beautiful one. That's one. That's one is better. And I'll try to make sure I talk to you guys before I even start doing my live them now. Oh, yes. Beautiful one, guys. Welcome back into the kitchen with another one with Chef Ricardo cooking show, guys. It is fantastic and an amazing. I, what I want to say to you, if you from Jamaica, all right, if you're from Jamaica and you don't know nothing about Jam Chef Anjo, big up yourself, 100%, all right? If you're from Jamaica and you don't know nothing about tin mackerel and tin, oh yeah, yeah, tin mackerel and rice, you understand? Then you need to know about tin mackerel and rice. Tin mackerel and rice is a very top, top Jamaican. I would say that's one of Jamaican second national dish for me. All right, LV, thank you so much for coming on the show. Really appreciate it, guys. Um, yeah. I think that's a Jamaican, you know what I mean? I have another thing named lemonade. Alright? When you're there in Jamaica and you know what I mean, your parents and your grandparents go and pick some lemon off of the tree or some civil orange and come home and make some nice lovely juice and all them stuff there. This is exactly what I'm talking about right now. Anyway. Um so basically I I, I as I can see in the in the the title is is a Jamaican dish. All right, tin mackerel and rice, and I know I did a quite a few video on tin mackerel and rice, but is um, it, um Lisa D, thank you so much for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Um, you know what I mean. Anyway, guys, I want you to remember to, Nicole. Thank you so much. Remember to check out Matt and Bling YouTube channel. I don't know if they're gonna be on the live, but they, you know, what I mean, very two top chef and check them out, guys. It's amazing. Anyway, um, I wanna say. Tin mackerel and rice. If you don't know anything about tin mackerel and rice, I'm telling you this. This is a recipe. I love it to the bottom of my heart. I love tin mackerel. Anyway, we got 12 people watching the live, and we have four, no, we have 12 people live, and we have 42 one people on the live at the moment. Anyway, tin mackerel and rice is one of Jamaican top dish, and you got like tin mackerel and caramel dumpling and all them stuff. There is amazing one. I love it. I did a quite a few video on it. And you know what I mean? That's one of my second Jamaican national dish. And if you remember back in Gilbert when Hurricane come to Jamaica back in those days, you know what I mean? A lot of people have to jar for tin mackerel and corned beef and all that stuff there. It's still going on today, guys. You know what I mean? And it's like we're talking about a very, very long time ago. This is was an, an amazing one. And honestly, um, yeah, it's beautiful, fantastic, and an amazing and yeah, I used to enjoy it. My grandparents used to make tin mackerel and rice, give me, and I used to love it. Mrs. P, head to kitchen. Thank you so much. A member of my YouTube channel. Really appreciate you coming on the show this evening, this afternoon. Um, 100%. Um, anyway, I don't know if my missus is going to come on the show. I don't see her coming up yet, but she always support Chef Ricardo. You know what I mean? But go, <laughs> go on the YouTube channel and write something. But anyway, um, I really appreciate every one of you guys who come in on the show and support Chef Ricardo 100%. You know, whatever you are, you know what I mean? Um, I really appreciate it and trust me. Anyway, this is a recipe we want to share with you today. Tin mackerel and rice. Alright? And if you don't know nothing about tin mackerel and rice, you need to do this recipe, guys. You know what I mean? Sometimes, it's not every time you want to do steam fish or you want to do some cock steel or you want to do some um stew chicken or so, sometimes you want to do something simple you know what i mean back from your culture you know what i mean something from down in the down in the get to down in the down in the you know what i mean you want to dig up that kind of recipe and do something for the kids them you know what i mean i said to them say listen this is what my grandparents used to make for me when i was growing up this is what my grandparents used to do you know what i mean you have to tell a little young one them that they can get used to this kind of real authentic jamaican you know what I mean? Fool. Anyway, I'm not going to be doing too much talking. I'm going to be jump straight into the kitchen right now and I'm going to be start do some cooking. I just flash the camera around to say, let you guys see exactly what I'm going Because a lot of people say, Chef Ricardo, you're doing the video, you know, you're not even showing yourself. And I'm saying, oh, you only need to see the food, not me. All right. But anyway, I'm going to be doing this um, cooking right now. Um, I got all of my stuff ready and I'm going to jump straight into the pot, straight in, the, in that 
thing now. Do some vegetable. I'm already cooked some rice and you know what I mean thing make it a little bit go faster. But tonight we will be doing another video tonight and a live. We're gonna be doing um uh, uh, uh you know what I mean a bedtime drink, you know what I mean, before you go to your bed, you can drink it. Uh yeah. Yes, someone say yes, tin mackerel and rice. Yes, yes, 100 percent If you love your tin mackerel and rice, guys, this is a recipe for you, all right, for you to make at home. It's a beautiful one, and you know what I mean. Today's Friday, a lot of people will be doing fry fish and probably some, you know what I mean, ox tail or some jerk chicken and all them things there. But sometimes you want to go back from down in you know, the ghetto, down where you you know what I mean, that where you're coming from, because I'm coming from the ghetto, I'm, you know what I mean, I'm coming from nothing, you know what I mean. That's where I am today. I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? I remember back in those days, my grandparents used to do a lot of um, tin mackerel and um, corned beef and rice. You know what I mean? And if you remember a thing named turn cornmeal, you know what I mean? If you remember turn cornmeal and all them stuff there, yeah, turn cornmeal cooked down with some coconut milk, that thing that it's still soaking in my body, same way, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, thank you so much, guys. We're gonna jump straight in there, Beverly. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, yeah, Ewing, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Edwin, um, for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. We don't see bling, we don't see none of these people yet. Um, so yeah, good morning to every one of you guys who coming on the show. Really appreciate you guys. Um, I want to say today's Friday, beautiful day. We, are, you know, we know what I want to say to you guys today is a very fantastic day. The, the it's really windy. But the day is beautiful. Give thanks for that, man. Give thanks for life. Matt, big up yourself. Here's Matt on the YouTube channel right now. You know what I mean? Check out his YouTube channel. Please support him. And you know what I mean? Check out um, Nicole YouTube channel. And please, please, I don't see Bling. Check out Bling YouTube channel. Please support these people, guys. You know what I mean? By even subscribe to the YouTube channel and watch one of their video and support them. Lisa channel, you can also support Lisa um the lisa d channel also please support these people they are very good chef cook you know i mean i want to learn something new this is where you can go on their platform and learn something new remember chef angel <laughs> big up chef angel thank you so much for coming on the show really appreciate it 100 percent and you know what happened now i'm gonna jump straight in the kitchen we got 22 people watching the live 22 people liking the live and farthest to farthest four people uh, 44 people watching and 22 come on guys please like up the video and you know what i mean yeah 23 yeah all right now let's i'm gonna jump straight in the kitchen right now guys and i'm saying i really appreciate every one of you guys who come in on the show and you know what i mean i'm just gonna simple do this on an amazing recipe today with chef ricardo all right beautiful one and you know let's jump into it it's business time now and this is what i call business we got 30 people like the video and 40 people watching. Come on, we need another 10 more people to watch the video. Hey, Matt, remember that we're going to have to do off this. Hey, guys, a, a, a little bit of surprise, you know what I mean? Because this, me and Matt need to do a competition. And we're going to see who can make the best um, green smoothie. So this is going to be a very fantastic one from me and Matt. Um, Nicole, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much, Nicole, for the donation to the YouTube channel. Really appreciate that donation. To the YouTube channel, and a lot of people donate to the YouTube channel, and all of that money we are so do it for. Like we give, we get stuff for the homeless and all these people, you know what I mean? And many different things we do also with that donation. Anyway, guys, what we're going to do? All right, what we're going to do now? Anyway, thank you so much for sharing this channel with the world. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome, Nicole. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. You know what I mean for your support and for your time. You I didn't see you yesterday, Nicole, on the YouTube channel, but I, I did shout you out yesterday on the YouTube channel, and we will be doing something very soon, also in the future. All right, um, guys, I want to simply say to you this evening, all right, at this moment, you no, know, wherever you are, I don't know any one of you guys, but I'm gonna tell you this. You know what I mean? Respect goes to every one of you guys, and I, you know, thank you so much for sharing your love with me. You know what I mean? I know someone was saying to me on my YouTube channel, I never mentioned that I have, I, I'm in a relationship. I don't know why people think this kind of way. I you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I got a child. I know what I mean? And um, I know I'm, I, have, I, I was talking to this missus for uh, um, what, six, seven months now. Oh, something like that. I don't even remember. Yeah, something like that. But I don't know why people think this kind of way. You know what I mean? And sometimes it's so sad. We're living in a world of nowhere. You know what I mean? It's a crazy world. 
You know what I mean? It's a very, very crazy world. People are crazy. But I'm saying, let's jump into this. We're not going to be talking about that today. That is another video which I want to come up with. And I will explain it to my audience in another video. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Really walking good, man. Thank you so much for that one. You know, I um, really appreciate that, you know. God is good every time. You know what I mean? God is good every time. Thank you so much for sharing your love. And I really appreciate it. We've got four to five people watching. And 36 people liking. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump straight into this live. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this on an amazing um, tin mackerel and rice today. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a day which you want to do something totally different. And, you know, yeah. So that's that's what we want to do. Um, yeah. So this a second, guys. I'm going to start off the show right now by simple start the show this kind of way with you guys today all right now i'm in the kitchen and i'm gonna show you exactly how to make this beautiful tin mackerel and rice all right tin mackerel and rice we got 54 people watching 53 come on guys please like up the video and please share the video all right please guys come on share the video you know what I mean? I don't like when time I have so many people watching the video and the guys now like up the video and like up the video. You know what I mean? When you like the video, I'm going to really appreciate it. All right? Yeah. Like up the video and share some support with Chef Ricardo in the, in the kitchen today. Beautiful one. Now, if you're not following me, you need to follow me on Instagram and you, my, my Facebook page, hashtag Chef Ricardo Cooking. All right, guys? You need to do that one. Trust me. Please, please follow me. All right, it's very important for you guys to follow Chef Ricardo. All right. Now, the thing I want to say to you. Today is a very beautiful day. Forty-eight people watching. We got thirty-nine people liking the video. Come on, guys, please like up the video. All right, please, please like up the video. Please like up the video. All right, please like up the video, guys. All right, please like up the video. We got 41 people. Um, we got six more people. Tea time. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. 100%. Please check out Matt YouTube channel and also Nicole, Lisa, Bling, all of these people who support Chef Ricardo. Please support them, guys, by going on their YouTube channel and, you know what I mean, share some love with them. All right? Yeah, beautiful one. Now, the thing I want to say to you guys, today is Friday, alright? And a lot of people may at work, and a lot of people may just like, get up and then think there. But I'm going to simply show you how to do a Jamaican national dish in your kitchen at home today, alright? So if you're not, please follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page, hashtag Chef Ricardo Cooking. And, you know what I mean, share some love. Beautiful day. And, you know what I mean, a little bit windy and all them things there, but, you know, we still have to carry on the work, what we are doing at home. Same way. All right. Now, all right. The thing I want to say to you, I got a medium-sized fried pan right here. I cooked some rice already, to be honest with you. Just to make you guys know exactly what I go on. I cooked some rice earlier. Alright, and I said to myself, so you know, well, let's do, do, do the rice first. So I did my rice first. Alright, yeah. So what I'm going to do is put roughly about a teaspoon of olive oil inside of a frying pan like this. You know what I mean? Not a lot of oil, because you don't want to use too much oil. You know what I mean? The less oil you use is the better for you. Because I'm always preaching that. we got some fresh thyme. Alright, it's good to have some fresh thyme in it. Secondly, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm going to cut up some vegetables. Alright. We're going to be cutting up some vegetables right now. And that's very important for you to do. Alright. So now, I'm cutting up some vegetable. Right here. Just like this. Alright. Yeah. Beautiful one. As you can see. Exactly what I'm going right now. So we'll cut up some... So this is some white onion. Which I'm going to be using because I want to get this cut up really lovely and nice. And now 
what we're going to do, we're going to cut up some tomato. So if you remember this kind of recipe, guys, trust me, this recipe is a recipe where you will never forget in your life. All right. If you're from the Caribbean, remember, if you're from Jamaica and you go around your grandparents, then you will know this kind of recipe. All right. But anyway, we got the tin mackerel ready so far. Secondly, we got some spring onion. And it's a simple little dish, guys, that you can make at home, you know what I mean? But I'm just simply showing you exactly what you can also do at home. This is some spring onion. 95% of this is supposed to be like some vegetable, all right? And that's exactly what I like about this kind of dish. All right? This is exactly what I like about this kind of dish. Secondly, I got my own garlic press right here. So basically, guys, if you like to get one of these garlic press, you know where to go. Straight to Chef Ricardo website. Get your garlic press and we will send it to you. We're going to put some garlic inside of it. It's nice to have a few cloves of garlic squeezed inside of it, bringing a lovely flavor. I know but back in the days, our grandparents would never do what I'm doing right here. I think they would have been doing it a little bit different. You know what I mean? Probably they would have just cut up some, some white onion, fry it up, chop the mackerel with some olive, a scotch, but the pepper, and you're good to go. But now, when we are doing this kind of stuff now, we try to use a lot of vegetable. Alright? That's the thing. To the days, you know what I mean? I try, we try to use a lot more vegetables. So right here we got some green pepper, and this is some bell pepper. Alright? It's nice to have some bell pepper in it. We're gonna put in some bell pepper. Lovely. And now um, we're gonna be using both color, red, green, and gold, which is very good. Alright. So now guys, I wanna simply say to you, I remember I couldn't get the Jamaican tin mackerel. Alright. And I come across it into a supermarket where I start to buy them and I start to use them. You know what I mean? Because trust me, it's nice to have something different sometime in the kitchen, you know what I mean? Sometimes you want to have fried fish, jerk chicken, oxtail, curry goat, and all them things there. But sometimes you just want to go back into the old school. You know? Right here we got some yellow pepper. Sometimes you want to go back into the old school style. And this is where the old school coming in with Chef Ricardo. I'm going to cut up some peppers. And you can see, 95% of this is just straight vegetable. Alright, we got some chili. I'm gonna put some chili in it. If we got scotch bunny pepper, you can put some scotch bunny pepper inside of it because that's what makes the difference with the Jamaican tin mackerel. Alright, is the scotch bunny what makes the difference? 100% guys. Alright, shout out to every one of you guys who are watching the video. Really appreciate it. So, as you can see, this is it right here. Beautiful one, as you can see, looking lovely, nice, all right? Fantastic and an amazing. All right, now, I'm gonna go into my cupboard, I'm gonna get some black pepper, because black pepper is a must. Alright, black pepper is a must with this kind of food right here. Alright? Um, next you can put on it. I can smell that beautiful garlic smell, man. The garlic smell amazing. 100%. Alright? Now we're going to just simple put a little bit of paprika. You know what I mean? This is eye measurement, guys. Alright? A little bit of chili. So I said, your grandparents would never do it the way I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Your grandparents would have probably just throw like a half cup of oil in the pot, fry it up with some white onion and some scotch bonnet prep, pepper, and they are good to go. And that's how our grandparents would normally do this one. But now it's modern days, you know what I mean? And things and time has changed. So we are doing it our way. And, you know what I mean? Our way do work the same way, like our grandparents' way. You know what I mean? But we are using more vegetable. Alright, we are using more 
vegetable into the pot. Trust me. That's what we're doing right here. More vegetable and you know what I mean? A little bit more even healthier. You don't have to use oil. You know what I mean? I'm using some veg uh, not vegetable oil, some olive oil. Alright, so just cover this and, and leave it for it to sweat for a few minutes on a medium sized heat. Beautiful one guys, to be honest with you. I know it's Friday and a lot of people might ask a chef recorder, come on man, you can do something better than that. You're a top chef and come on man. Yes, we all know that. But sometimes it is very important for you to jump right back into this old school and get yourself something fantastic and an amazing. Alright, and that's what I'm doing right here. Just to try to draw you back into that old school days where your grandparents used to make this kind of food at home. Special on the weekend or during the week. It doesn't even matter what time you want to make it. But mackerel is a thing which none of us would never forget. If you're in the Caribbean, like a place like Jamaica, you know what I mean? Back in the days, in Gilbert days, our grandparents would normally cook up something like this. Next time I want to do corned beef. You know what I mean? Long time I want to do some corned beef. Alright, so once they fry up the vegetables, beautiful way. Alright, now what I'm going to do is get that on an amazing mackerel. And, you know what I mean? As I said, this is, we don't normally remove the bone. From the from the mackerel, all right. Make sure some. This is all our grandparents would do is remove the bone from the mackerel. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna chop this straight inside of it like this. All right. That's one tin of mackerel right there. All right. Just fold up all of that beautiful vegetables onto the mackerel. All right. And to be honest with you guys, mackerel is just like one of these kind of all right so basically this is what our grandparents would do you know what i mean let's remove the bone from it from the middle of the, the fish you know what i mean this is the mackerel right here and as you can see we're just removing the middle bone and trust me guys sometimes it's just good to remember certain things you know what i mean you draw it back to our attention and this is what happened. The mackerel smell amazing, man. All right. So once you do this, you can see the difference with this beautiful mackerel right here. Got a lot of vegetables in it. As you can see, you just want this to slow cook down just like this into this pan. I'm going to cover it back just like that. Beautiful one. In the meantime, what I'd like to do is get my rice cooked up and ready. All right, that's what I'm gonna do because I'm already cooked some rice. So yeah, things looking good. Yeah, things looking good guys. Um, and to be honest, it is just nice to have something different sometime. You know what I mean? Not every time you want to, you know what I mean? You want to have the same thing sometimes you can do like some tin mac um corn what you call it corned beef and rice all right you can do that one so right now i'm gonna cup up some rice make you guys can see exactly what i want this is a proper old school guys 100 percent this is a recipe where trust me you know what I mean? So this is some rice, which right here I'm just cupped up. Alright, um, to be honest with you, that's that beautiful mackerel. Look at that one. It's cooking slowly. You do not want to rush it. You just want to take your time. You just want to take your time and, you know, Is a is an amazing recipe, guys. Definitely, you want to try this recipe at home. Please give it a try. All right. And if you remember this kind of recipe, then trust me, you would never go wrong. You know what I mean? Because you're gonna remember those days when your grandparents used to make this kind of dish. 
And not only that, when your grandparents make this kind of dish, when the kids have come from school, they will be happy to have this for their dinner. Alright? So, I remember when I was a young man growing up, you know what I mean? And I used to come home, you know? My parents them would already done make the beautiful, you know? So, right here, I just cupped up some rice. That's the rice right here. Alright? And then, um, what we're going to do, we got some avocado. We're just going to serve it like this, guys. Trust me. We got some avocado we're going to use on top of this. Just just for a, a little bit of a, a decoration on top of the all right you have to get creative things at home and this is where chef ricardo come in and try and create a few ideas for you guys all right it's a beautiful one but trust me you will see what, what, what happened right here i don't know what's going on man i think it's a cut really rice look but look at this now let's fix this one this is not a good sign all right can't have four to make the thing that I keep falling away like that chef ricardo all right beautiful one all right now you know what i mean it's a proper old school one guys and you have to remember these things you know what i mean if you don't remember these things trust me you have to remember these things right here tin mackerel and rice with some beautiful fantastic all right let's see what i go on right now Alright, so once it cooked down like this, you know what I mean, you want it to steam down properly, you know? Because you don't want to have nothing too half cooked. You want to make sure everything cooked down lovely and nice. Look at that. Alright, let's turn off the stove. We don't need to go any further with this. Alright. Please take a picture quickly. Alright, before we stop. Take a picture of this mackerel. Because this is, this is not an normal thing. All right, um, as you can see, mackerel and rice, you know what I mean? My missus might have take a picture of it too, you know what I mean? Take a picture quickly. Please take a picture of this right now. This is not a normal thing. All right, now, as you can see, that's the mackerel right there already. And that's the way a chef will call the normal do his thing, do things at home, all right? Beautiful one. Fantastic and an amazing recipe from Chef Ricardo. Let's put this right here. And what we're going to do, let's put this one right here, guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Beautiful one. Secondly, what I need to do for you guys is to show you exactly certain things that you need to do at home. You know what I mean? Because when you're at home, you have to do this one. All right? You can you take mackerel and rice and you don't do this one. Alright, this one is a must. And if you don't know anything about this, if you got some lettuce, it is fine. But I'm just doing it in my like old school style, you know what I mean? My little bit of style right here. But that tomato is a must. If you're doing this kind of kind of salad, um, kind of food, guys, you have to have these things on it. 100 percent It's the only thing I don't have time to do is to make that an amazing juice recipe like the cucumber juice and all these things but as you can see this kind of recipe you have to have these things on it guys you know what i mean look at that fantastic and an amazing one from chef ricardo so right now we got the avocado we got this one right there we got the mackerel ready and as i say it's an old school style i'm bringing back to you you know what I mean? Back in the days, you know what I mean? Our grandparents used to make this. 100%. If you remember your grandparents used to make this, when you finish watch this video, please leave your comments in the description box. Alright guys, trust me. Your grandparents used to make this kind of Jamaican food, please write it in the description box. If you remember Gilbert days, please write it in the description box. Alright, do not act like you don't know anything about tin mackerel and rice. Tin mackerel and rice is the ghetto man food, street food, you know what I mean? Beautiful and nice. So all you need now is some lemonade juice to keep the day flowing with this and an amazing one from Chef Ricardo today. Look at that one guys. Fantastic and amazing. Lovely and also delicious. And that's where Chef Ricardo normally come in the kitchen to give you certain kind of 
a food what you like to make at home. All right, tin mackerel and rice. If you remember this, please leave your comments in the description box. Please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. All right. So this is a recipe where I will never forget because when I was growing up, I saw my grandparents used to go to the local shop and buy tin mackerel and rice and she would come home and make some food like this all right so you know what i mean grandparents food is one of the best in the world and if you grow up with your grandparents you will have a lot of experience with cooking and all them stuff there so yeah why not why not guys come on something different i know it is friday eve friday you know what i mean it's coming up to friday evening and a lot of people may as a chef ricardo you could do something different we don't have to do this one Oh yes, why not? I don't have to do this one today, but it's good to remember the old school. Remember where you're coming from. Alright? This is named Remember Where Are You Coming From. If you remember where you're coming from, this is it. Real, authentic Jamaican style. If you got a little bit of lettuce, you will put on it. Alright? So right now, <laughs> says, Alright. Alright guys, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I um, really appreciate it. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know what I mean? Please follow me on Instagram and that will, you know what I mean? I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. I'm Lady Neil P141. Um, I need a plate right now. Thank you so much for that, guys. I really appreciate your time watching this video. And trust me, as I say, if you know where you're coming from, this is for you. You don't need to show off and you don't need to bossy, but this is just like another recipe for you to do at home all right as i said proper old school style from chef ricardo today all right 100 percent all right of course <laughs> um p114 on instagram so thank you so much for that uh, uh, that is a whole school i remember thank you so much proper jamaican style if you remember that one all right so um my instagram friend thank you so much for coming on the show really appreciate it please stay tuned in with chef ricardo and we definitely will be coming with some more recipe with you guys. All right. Thank you for watching. Um, as I said, this is just like a recipe, guys, where you definitely want to try at home. All right. It is beautiful. It is fantastic. And not only that, this is you, something where you will never forget. All right. Tin mackerel and rice. All right. Tin mackerel and rice you will never forget this one guys trust me tin mackerel and rice all right so if you remember tin mackerel and rice this is a recipe for you all right tin mackerel and rice all right jamaican tin mackerel and rice all right nice one so this one right now guys all you need all you need right now is all you need right now for this right now is some lemonade drink for you to make at home and drink this 100 percent all right if you got some lemonade drink um all right let me see what's going on on the live right now all right i need to see what's going on on the live right now um uh, let me see what's going on the live who is on the live this is what I'm going on right now because a lot of things are going on right now in the meantime. All right, now Jamaica recipe queen, thank you so much. We got tea time, we got Matt, we got AJ. Thank you so much, Mitchy. Thank you so much, all the way in Australia. Thank you so much, big up yourself. Thank you so much, really appreciate it. You're coming on the live. Thank you so much for your support. We got Thompson on it. Um, 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 um we got lisa we got thank you so much guys really appreciate every one of you guys watching this live Mitchy, thank you so much you know i mean more blessing and prosperity man thank you so much for the time coming on the show really appreciate that one all right it's a beautiful one guys where you know i mean as i said it's just to remember some of us where we are coming from all right you don't have to make this one you can make something different and make it another day but it's just to remember us where we are coming from. If you remember where you are come from, this is a Jamaican dish. All right. You don't have to make it out the way all Chef Ricardo make it. You can make it your international way, your kind of way, 
how you want to make it, all right? It's just to remember where you're coming from, from Chef Ricardo. Remember tonight at 10 o'clock, remember to join Chef Ricardo. I will be doing um, um, bedtime tea. We're going to special tea tonight at 10 o'clock, all right? Join Chef Ricardo at 10 o'clock tonight. I'm going to be doing a bedtime tea. Um, the bedtime tea is just to help to support one another before you go to bed. You can drink this one and you know what I mean? 100% it is just fantastic guys for you to try something before you go to bed at night. Alright? Alright, now Anthony, thank you so much. That's one of my members of my YouTube channel. Guys, if you don't join my YouTube channel membership, please join my YouTube channel membership, membership guys. Alright? Please look carefully, Chef. Um, alright, alright, alright. Um, what is that now, Matt? Talk to me there. I'm not hearing it. What is going on there, Matt? Let me know what's going on. Let me know what's going on. All right? Um, yeah. But as I said, guys, tonight at 10 o'clock, please join Chef Ricardo. We're going to be doing a bedtime drink. We've been doing that over the last couple of days. Um, yeah. And if you want to join Chef Ricardo tonight, please keep coming on the live and also, you know what I mean? Yeah. Support Chef Ricardo. Alright, tonight at 10 o'clock. Um, I didn't see Blink on the YouTube channel. I think he's a little bit busy. I spoke to Blink today. He's doing really good. Um, big up Blink. Um, yeah. Um, Anthony is a member of my YouTube channel and I really appreciate it. He's supporting me 100%. You know what I mean? We've got Mitch on the YouTube channel. I um, really uh, appreciate that one also. Alright. Thank you so much, guys, for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. 100%. We got Lisa, we got Matt, we got Jamaica Recipe Queen, we got Mitchie, we got so many people. We got Tea Time. Who, all of you guys who support me every day. I really appreciate it. All right? We got Nicole. Thank you so much for, you know what I mean, to coming on the show. But it's just a simple little recipe, guys, for you to do something different. You know what I mean? Because I did a quite a few recipes like this. Alright, we did quite a few recipes like this on my YouTube channel. And I want to say, you know what I mean? Yeah. Please, 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 please follow other L's YouTube channel and support them. You know what I mean? Support the other rest of YouTube channel, them guys. LV Sweet, thank you so much. In Jamaica, recipe queen on the platform time. Perfect time. Yep. Uh, in Jamaica, I think people have this even for breakfast. You know? Mackerel and fried dumpling, another recipe. I will be coming with that very soon. Mackerel and fried dumpling is a very nice recipe to have in the morning for breakfast. We're talking about like a Sunday morning, mackerel and rice. Uh, mackerel and fried dumpling is a recipe where, you know what I mean, when I was growing up also, I used to have that in the Sunday morning for breakfast. A little bit heavy, but it's very delicious. So if you remember, fried dumpling and tin mackerel on a Sunday morning breakfast. That one will be coming from Chef Ricardo soon. And I will show you how to do that one. I will do that one in the whole video. Fry the dumpling and make the mackerel fry up also. Alright? Now, thank you so much guys for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. Some people dream would never have much. Um, yeah, thank you so much guys. Um, thank you so much for your time. Hey, Jay. Anytime, Chef, wherever you feel like you are lot. Yeah, a lot. Thank you so much for your support and for your time. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you 10 o'clock tonight. 10 o'clock tonight. Please join Chef Ricardo. Bedtime tea tonight. Get yourself some ingredients. Whatever ingredients you have at home. Lemon and ginger. Whatever you have tonight at 10 o'clock. All right, Michi, thank you so much. And I will see you later on, guys. Bye-bye.